it doesn't even feel like work most of the time when I'm working on challenges that I get to work on every day here. It's just technical problems that I didn't even know existed before I came here. And there's only a handful of people in the world who are even trying to do things like this. So to be a part of that is, is pretty incredible. Right now, people don't talk about such precise sensors. They don't talk about quantum sensing. But 10 years down the line, they're going to talk about quantum sensing as casually as we talk about GPS today. I want to be part of that journey. I want to be in that history, which is going to build that technology. Hi, I'm Sahil. I'm Ravi. And this is Atomionix. We are on a mission to accelerate human progress. We do this by building quantum sensors using atom interferometry to measure three things. Gravity, acceleration and rotation. Only, we do it a thousand times better than the current state of the art. Our gravity-aided positioning system will be used by 8 billion people to navigate. It will enable autonomous cars, ships, aircraft, submarines and even spacecraft. Not to mention, our tech will also bring down the cost of energy and make it more accessible to everyone on the planet. How are we doing this? Atom interferometry is at the core of our technology. We cool down atoms to micro Kelvin temperature by shooting laser beam onto them in a particular combination of magnetic fields. Once we have atoms at micro Kelvin temperature, we shoot laser beam onto them again to form an interferometer with matter waves. By studying the phase shift of the interferometer, we can make very precise measurement of acceleration, rotation, and gravity components. Our first product is a quantum gravimeter. It will literally paint us a picture of the Earth crust, helping us identify oil and gas and mineral reserves. It will be able to help in construction and tunneling, and also predict earthquakes and volcanic eruptions This is my first time working with a very interdisciplinary team. We're working very closely with electronics engineers, mechanical engineers, who all come from slightly different backgrounds, and they have their own like really unique perspective. So like it's very interesting trying to think of okay, what's the new way we can do this, or you know, how is somebody else doing this? You know, we might read a paper that came out a few months before and go, oh, actually, like that's a really good idea. The culture at Atom Ionics is probably one of the best parts about it, if not the best. It, like I think I said before, it doesn't even feel like I'm working most of the time. It more just feels like we're a group of like-minded people who are on this quest to create this thing. As far as like the application goes, uh, we can't even really conceive of what they could really be used for in the problems they've solved because nothing has existed like it before. The way I think about progress is that there are two types. One is evolutionary and the other is revolutionary, where irrespective of if I'm there or not there, the evolutionary progress will happen. But this seemed like a place where I could actually contribute and this could actually be a paradigm shift in how technology progresses. And that was one of my major motivating factors to actually start Atomine X. I wanted to build something deeply technical that could actually shift humanity's trajectory on multiple fronts. Did I mention we are hiring? If you think you could fit the bill, we would love to meet you. For more information, check out atominex.com.